Hello there everybody. In this uh, second part of the series I'm going to be showing how to make uh, a twisted strap with only a quarter of a twist in it with 90 degrees between that end and that end which is 90 degrees which is a quarter of 360 of course. So this can be used uh, for joining materials together at a 90, 90 degree angle. Uh, so Stand by for that. Ah, there you are. So the first thing we're going to draw is the section area, which is going to be fairly thin. I'm going to put some points in it. And then pay for pull. Start with an axis. We'll make this a fairly long axis. We'll make it 50. Left click anywhere to get rid of the arrow because we are now going to select the two points. Control select the other one, and our arrow should be in the middle. Now we're going to Revolve a helix, so then select an axis to rotate about. We're going to revolve a helix. Now we want our helix to rotate only 90 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and be about 25 millimeters long. So 90 degrees is a quarter of a circle. Uh, so to get the quarter we want our height to be quarter of the pitch so there we are, I want the height to be 25 that's a quarter turn now in order to construct the tabs at the end we're going to put some extra geometry in first of all we'll click anywhere to get rid of those bits and pieces now make sure you've, you've still got this plane in and select the line tool. You should get the cursor with the little hatch piece in it but we don't want that. Press the escape key, move the cursor and we're now able to draw in three dimensions. So we want the line from there to there and another one from up there to there. And we're going to pull this line up. We're going to make our tab 20 millimeters tall. And this one on the end, going to do the other way. We'll left click and drag to start it off. And we'll continue with 20. Now we just want the, the lines down the, the side of here for our extra bit on the twist. So we're going to select that here for sketch plane and then if we T for trim and if we get rid of these bits we don't want and go back to design mode we see what we're left with two two lines good eh? clever similarly here select that K T for trim and T for design mode we've still got a line in here we're still in T for trim, so we can still trim away here. That's it. So again, we're faced with these sharp transitions. So we're going to put our spline curve in. And again, we're going to use a minimum minimum points. Select it. Again, we've got the cursor with the hatching. Escape. My, and 
find a point on the screen or rather the grid should go away so we'll start there click find the middle click again then go straight across to here and across here click and find at the end there escape same principle here midpoint straight into the curve escape there are the curves we want over here we want to uncheck everything but the spline curves and the last thing to do is put this plane down at the end move tool, select the plane select the vertical blue one up to find the very end Switch to pull, sweep, control click here, don't remember don't click, select the point, select the line, right we're in business, full pull, left click, and there's tab 90 degree tab. Now Although you can that down, you can pull it straight out from here, you get further twisting on it. It's not a straight pull, it's a little bit of a twist on it. So we'll cancel that out, control Z. The way to get around that is the same as the other strap we made. You control double click the edge. So we we'll select it all the way around, tab 20, and we get a straight tab. Same on the other end. Control, double click. Don't forget the arrow is pointing the other way, so it's minus 20. There we are. Display, colour. Brass. Oh, we've got to keep forgetting this. Set the solid. Brass. Metallic. Finish. Ooh, high gloss. Oh, I forgot the holes. Back to there. Holes. It. Circle it pull itch. There you are, guys and gals. A nice twisted brass strap. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you can find it useful. Please subscribe. Bye.